Hey everyone, it is December, time for a new hobby. I know I'm a few days late with that. Sorry about that, trying to get on a schedule here. Uh, I've actually been sick this week. But anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, this December's, this month's hobby for us for this month, which is writing short stories. And I thought I'd give you some book ideas for stuff you might want to dig into. Um, these are easily available if you want to improve your short story writing skills. Um, I'm going to try writing some fiction this month and see what happens. I don't think it really helps to come up with a um, really firm set of deadlines around this stuff. I've tried that in the past, for me at least. Uh, whenever I say I'm going to write you know, a story a week, it never really works out that well. Um, it's better for me to set up time and work on it you know, um, every day, for example, for 15 minutes or half an hour. And that seems to uh, work better than trying to come up with a particular, you know, um, number of stories I'm going to write in a given week. Because, uh, let's be honest, uh, length of different stories, you know, differs. So we're going to see how far we can get this uh, this month. But again, I wanted to give you some book suggestions for this month for improving your writing. The first one is The Elements of Style by Strunken White, uh, a classic text from uh, back in the 20s, I believe it was. Um, it, it should say here somewhere. Uh, 1959, so a little bit off. Um, but yes, um, this is a thin and I think very helpful book about kind of the basics of simplifying your style. Um, some of the advice in here you might not agree with, um, and obviously being from the 50s, the language has evolved somewhat. But what I like is that this really focuses on simplifying your language, not in the sense of being um, you know, dumb, but in the sense of not using a lot of flowery language, um, you know, not overcomplicating your language, how to get it down to something that is very you know, direct and easy to understand, um, you know, clearing away the cruft of your language. Uh, there's some really thought-provoking stuff in here. You will not see a lot of online communication the same way after you've read this book because you'll realize how much we kind of overuse a lot of phrases. Uh, to that point, if you want to kind of... Um, Level up from that, Virginia Tufte's, well, you can't read that at all, sorry, uh, Artful Sentences, Syntax as Style is a, um, a book. It's a little hard to find, but it is this pretty extensive, almost encyclopedic look at language and different ways of um, improving language. So I'm just opening up to a, uh, a random sentence, a random uh, set of pages. Avoiding the long noun phrase with bound modifiers, um, subordinate clauses, mid-branching sentences. So a lot of different things here to dig into, but the nice thing is each of them is usually only a couple of pages long. Um, so you can kind of uh, almost use this as a, a daily meditation on writing. Uh, just you know, look at one particular aspect and think, ooh, how could I improve my language on that one thing? Um, so again, Virginia Tufte's Artful Sentences, Syntax and Style, I find this really useful. Um, and then there's a William Zinser's On Writing Well. So this is a book that, um, um, is often recommended. It is it is a book on writing nonfiction, particularly uh, writing like newspaper articles and such. But it's very useful for all kinds of, of writing, and it's more a set of essays about different aspects of writing. So, for example, opening up the table of contents: simplicity, style, the audience, um, the lead. So, how to start your story, um, stuff on humor, criticism, etc. So. Um, while some of this stuff won't necessarily apply directly to a short story, a lot of it is good for writing in general and for certain aspects of fiction writing. The lead in particular, I think, is, is really useful. Um, and then finally, Ray Bradbury's Zen in the Art of Writing. Ray Bradbury, the legendary science fiction and fantasy author, wrote this. And it's sort of an expansion of, I believe, a talk he gave at one point. Uh, and then, like, I think he wrote an article and then expanded it into this book. Um, and it's in that wonderful Ray Bradbury style, very moody, very evocative, um, and opinionated. Um, I should point out um, that uh, uh, Bradbury, and he, Bradbury says in this, you know, he, he is um, not a practitioner of Zen, nor, nor is he really all that uh, um, knowledgeable about Zen. He's not a Zen master or anything, but he came across the idea of Zen, um, and it really got him thinking a lot about writing. And so he kind of ties in some of the things he's heard about Zen to general uh, creative writing advice. And so this is a really good book um, about kind of the process and craft of writing. Um, it's um, 11 exuberant essays on the pleasures of writing. 
Um, and so the nice thing is it's really encouraging you to write. It's, it's talking about how much fun writing can be um, while also recognizing it can be, it can be hard. You know, there, there are a lot of um, problems you often need to solve in writing, but um, this is a, a really a big encouraging book. And it's got some good uh, advice in here, as well as some information on some of the things that he dealt with writing some of uh, his classic works like Fahrenheit 451. Um, so I, I, I find, found this book to be inspiring and uh, just really, really interesting. Um, I can also recommend, and I don't have a copy of it here, Stephen King's book on writing. Um, um, it does not focus too much on horror, although I believe it does uh, touch on it. And I find, I, I found that book to be um, similarly sort of an encouragement on writing while also recognizing that writing is, um, it can be, you know, as a profession, it is a lot of work. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of just kind of chugging through a lot of different problems, but um, just, you know, very helpful in general. Uh, if you're looking for non-book resources, Brandon Sanderson, uh, the fantasy author who finished the Wheel of Time series and did the Mistborn series, um, he does a regular class um, at a university, and they video recorded his lectures and put them online. So if you um, go on YouTube and uh, search for Brandon Sanderson, uh, probably Brandon Sanderson like university lectures, college lectures, you'll find these, and um, it's a bunch of um, him uh, videos of him lecturing on writing fantasy, particularly. Um, but also just kind of long-form fiction, and um, I found those to be very insightful. Uh, Sanderson does a podcast as well, or did a podcast, I'm not sure if it's still running, um, that was very helpful about fiction. It was um, to the point, which I really appreciated. So um, those are all, I think, just really useful stuff. So if you're looking to get into creative writing, I hope those are useful, and um, as we write, hopefully, we will um, uh, I'll, I'll post what I can here. Obviously, it's December, the holidays, so I'm not going to, you know, expect large amounts out of everyone this month. But hopefully, you can uh, give it, uh, you know, give it a shot. Um, even a, you know, one draft or one short story this month is more than you would have had otherwise. So, hope that is a an inspiration to you. I'm gonna go off and start uh, start drafting up my story. So, hope to see you uh, in the Discord as we dig into this, and hope you write something.